Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So today's video is going to be a full face of cream and liquid products. I absolutely love doing this on days where I want to look wide awake and fresh and dewy. I've been wanting to film this for a while, just haven't gotten around to it and I finally have the time today. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe because it really helps me out in growing my channel and let's just get right on into it. So I just put my hair back because there's seriously nothing worse than getting makeup in your hair. But I'm really excited for today's look because we're actually not using foundation. I typically don't wear foundation like on an everyday basis unless i'm doing like a makeup look for my instagram definitely go follow me there because it is so hard to grow on instagram nowadays besides that like i said we're not using foundation for today's look but for primer i'm going to be using my banana bright face primer from ulay hendrickson you guys have seen me use this in other beauty videos i absolutely love this product i've had this for about like a year now this is like my third tube i really like it because you don't necessarily need to use it like as a primer for foundation i find it more as like a glowing moisturizer so i really like this so i'm going to apply like one to two pumps all over my face and then we'll get into coverage and everything else I also really like this product because of the smell. I know that's so weird, but it has like a citrusy kind of scent. And I feel like it's one of those things that just like makes you feel more awake. I can't describe it. It smells so good, but I love Ula Henderson products. They have really good skincare products as well, but I really love their stuff. I'm drinking coffee while I film this because it is like 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm still really sleepy. But look at the size of this mug. My best friend got this for me for my birthday this year and I love friends and I love coffee and this is just like the perfect gift. It's like literally the size of my head. I had to get up because I needed to wet my sponge and I totally forgot to bring a mirror in here. But anyways, moving on to coverage, I'm going to be using my total face sponge from e.l.f. Cosmetics. You guys know this sponge is my holy grail. It's $5. It's better than the Beauty Bender, better than the Morphe sponge. Seriously, it's my favorite sponge ever. And then for concealer, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is the satin finish one. They have the regular one, which is the matte formula, but that one tends to be kind of drying on my skin. So I'm going to be using this one. This one is in the shade Fair Warm. This concealer is comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape. If you guys remember, that concealer had like all the hype a couple years ago. I used to use it. I really liked it at the time, but then it just got really cakey on me. So I stopped buying it and I discovered this one. This one is so much better and it's only $5. Do not sleep on e.l.f. Cosmetics. They have some of the best makeup products out there so I'm just gonna be applying this underneath my eyes on my chin down my nose my cupid's bow and my forehead and I'm gonna blend it out with this sponge I have like redness here because I have a scratch on my face so basically I'm just concealing anywhere that I have a redness I feel like I'm having like an allergic reaction right now because I have like red spots all over my face but it's okay it'll go away so like I said, I'm just concealing any problem areas that I might have and I'm just going to blend it out with this sponge. I know this concealer might seem like really pale for my skin tone right now, but I'm going to go in with cream contour and it'll balance everything out. Also, I might feel like some of you guys are watching this might be like, What's the purpose of not applying foundation if you're literally putting concealer all over your face? But honestly, this concealer is so light that I don't feel it on my face. And I feel like it does the exact same thing as a foundation would with like light coverage or a tinted moisturizer without having like that greasy feeling on your face without having to set it. So I prefer doing this on days where I feel like I don't need a lot of coverage and I feel like it looks just as good as using a foundation. So that's why I do this technique instead. Sometimes when I'm filming, I literally do things out of order without realizing and usually I do my brows first and I totally forgot to do my brows, but I'm just adding more concealer under my eyes because I feel like I need more coverage there. Okay, so that is all the concealer blended. I feel like it looks so good. So before I go in with any other product, I'm just going to do my brows really quickly off camera. You guys have seen me do my brows on camera before. I'll link a video up here if you guys want to see how I do them. But I just want to save some time, so I'm going to do them off camera, and then I'll come back when I'm finished. Okay, so I just finished doing my brows, and today I use the LA Girl Brow Pomade. I said I was doing a full face of cream and liquid makeup, so I use this rather than like a pencil or powder. I actually really like this product. It's around $3, and I think it's really comparable to the Anastasia Dip Brow. So if you use that, I would definitely check this out because it's really cheap and it's really creamy as well So I'll link everything down below that I'm using in today's video But now we're gonna move on to cream contour So for bronzing and contouring i'm gonna be using the Too Faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer And I have mine in the shade butterscotch. I love the born this way line from Too Faced. It is so good I've owned the foundation in the past I actually have this concealer like in my shade to highlight and I love this one for contouring because it is so easy to blend And you do not need a lot of product because this is super full coverage and pigmented So i'm gonna use this to bronze up my 
my face because I'm looking really flat right now because my face is all one color. But I'm going to blend it out with my Real Techniques brush. I don't remember which exact one this is. I think this is the foundation brush, but I really like it because the shape is really easy for contouring and bronzing. So like I said, you do not need a lot of product when you're using this because it is so pigmented and a little bit goes a long way. So this is the color. I really like it for like my skin tone because it kind of contours and bronzes at the same time. But I'm going to use this. I'm just going to put a couple dots on my face where I would normally bronze and contour and you guys are going to see how pigmented this is. So I literally put two dots on each cheekbone, two on my forehead, and then the sides of my nose to contour. And you guys are going to see this goes such a long way. So just be like patient when you're blending because it can get a little bit frustrating because at first it looks like you put too much product, but it ends up blending so effortlessly into the skin and it looks super pretty. I feel like right now I look super crazy but i'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and blend everything out and it'll all come together i promise at first you look like a literal clown but i promise the more you blend and the more you like move the products into the skin the better it looks to blend the sides of my nose i'm going to use the elf flawless concealer brush this brush is really good and it's super soft and again it's only like three dollars So the most important part of this entire makeup look is to go back in with the beauty blender that you use to blend out your concealer because you're gonna go over everything with this and it'll just diffuse the color and make everything look more seamless. If you don't do this, I guarantee you it will not look good. So please don't forget this step because it is really important. <laughs> Okay, so this is everything blended and I feel like it already looks so much better, especially when we put like blush and highlight on. Everything will come together in the end, I promise. It might still look a little bit crazy now. I can't really tell because sometimes the camera like accentuates everything when it really doesn't look like that in real life, but I think it looks pretty good. So now we're gonna go in with blush. So for blush, I'm gonna be using my Rare Beauty Liquid Blush and this one is in the shade Bliss. I did an entire video on Rare Beauty. Seriously, every single thing in that line is amazing and totally worth your money, especially this blush. It it is so pigmented like this thing is gonna last me forever you seriously only need one dot on each cheek and that is it it is super pigmented so i'm just gonna put one dot on each cheek and i'm gonna blend this out with my bh cosmetics brush i suggest using like a flat kabuki to blend this out so this is the bh cosmetics weekend vibes number two brush i really like it because it kind of has like an angle to it so i'm just gonna blend this out on my cheeks and you guys will be able to see how much color payoff this really has i might have put way too much actually And you guys know I like to put blush on my nose, so I'm just taking whatever is left over and dragging it onto my nose. Now moving on to highlight, which is my favorite part out of this entire makeup look, I'm going to be using my Iconic London Illuminating Drops. These are in the original shade. I think they have about three more shades. I'm not exactly sure, but again, this product is so pigmented. It is the most blinding highlight that I've ever used, at least liquid highlight. The formula is super good. If you want, you can use your finger to blend it out or you can use a sponge. I personally am going to use a sponge because I feel like it makes everything so much easier to blend, but I'm just going to apply this on the top of my cheekbones and down my nose and you guys will see how blinding this highlight is you seriously only need that little bit of product because a little bit goes such a long way like i said i'm gonna use my sponge i'm just gonna use the pointy part so i can get more of a precise application and you guys will see how intense this is i feel like it's not showing up on camera as blinding as it actually is in person so i'm gonna add a little bit more just so you guys can see a little bit better I feel like if you blend it out with your fingers, it comes off way more pigmented than the sponge. So I guess if you guys want more of like that intense looking highlight, definitely use your fingers because the sponge kind of soaks up some product, but it still looks just as pretty. But you guys can see better how crazy this highlight is. Okay, so this is the finished base. I think it looks so pretty and fresh. I seriously don't feel like I have anything on my face right now, which is my goal whenever I use cream products because I hate feeling like that greasy film on my skin. So I love this routine that I've been doing. And then to set everything, I'm going to be using my Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the best setting spray out there. This will make your makeup last at least 16 hours. I have no idea what makes it last so long, but it is amazing. So I'm just going to use this to set my face. 
Now moving on to the eyes, you definitely don't need to do any eyeshadows for this look, especially if you're just doing this as like a really quick makeup look in the morning and you want to get out the door. But for this video, I'm going to be using a cream shadow. So today I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Ocean Child Shimmer Eye Glaze. I believe this is limited edition because she put it out like in a summer collection about a year ago, but it's just this really pretty cream eyeshadow. I'm just going to apply this all over my lids. I'll see if she still sells it. If she does, I'll link it down below, but if not, I'll link some alternatives. I know ColourPop has so many cream shadows that are just as amazing and way cheaper so I'm just gonna apply this all over my lids and then we'll move on to mascara So I just use my finger to apply that cream shadow because I feel like fingers work so much better than brushes for those kinds of formulas. But now moving on to mascara, I'm going to be using my Benefit Cosmetics Bad Gal Bang Mascara, you guys. This has topped my L'Oreal Telescopic and you guys know I'm a diehard for that mascara. This is the best mascara I've ever used in my entire life. No other mascara has lengthened my lashes so much, thickened them, gave them so much volume and this mascara is so black. It is so good. You guys will see. I'm going to do one eye so you guys can see the difference, but this mascara is amazing. I'm so happy I discovered it. If you're going to buy anything from this video, let it be this mascara because you will fall in love with it. So this is one coat and you guys can already see the difference between this eye and this eye. I swear, I feel like I don't even need to wear falsies when I use this mascara because it makes my eyelashes look so long. So while this coat dries, I'm going to do this eye and then I'll go in with the second coat. Okay guys, so that is both eyes done. I have two coats of mascara on each eye and I also did my bottom lashes. I seriously love this mascara. I don't know if I will ever use another one, but if you guys don't like clumpy mascaras, I probably wouldn't suggest this because the more coats you apply, the clumpier it does get. And it is also waterproof, but I prefer waterproof mascaras because they hold the curl better in your lashes, but I seriously love how they look. Now moving on to lips, which is the last thing in this makeup look. I'm gonna be using my BH Cosmetics So Extra Lip Gloss, and this one is in the shade Caffeinated. It's just this really pretty muted pink color. Okay guys, this is the finished makeup look. I think it turned out so pretty. I love how fresh and doing my skin looks. I know this makeup look is really simple and easy to achieve, but I really wanted to do a full face of cream products in case any of you guys were interested. I seriously love every single product. These are my go-to cream and liquid products on days where I like to do makeup looks like this. If you have oily skin, I'm not really sure how this will work out for you. I do have oily to combo skin, but in the winter time, my skin gets really dry. That's why I didn't use any powders today, but if you have oily skin and you want to try out this makeup look, I would just suggest powdering any area that you tend to get oily in like i said before i will have everything linked down below that i use i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one